Um, I got to um, I got to complete one of my bucket list items the other day. I got to shoot with um, well, I got to work with kind of I guess my social media version of work um, with Leonardo DiCaprio. Which really? is re- really, yeah. What do you mean? You didn't see that? Like, no way. You didn't, you, well, you didn't hear me talking about it the last <laughs> fucking three weeks. Um, well, we did something for voting. Um, uh, go vote. Oh, actually, I don't know when this fucking podcast will be out. Probably tomorrow. tomorrow. The vote. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Go vote. Um, but yeah, we, we did uh, a thing for voting. We're doing like a, um, you can come basically hang out with me and meet Leo, and it's like this big fun thing. Um, and it was it was really cool. We got or to go to what Leo. What happened? What was the first thing he said to you? I met him a while ago. Okay. I met him like, oh, so, so th- this is how it happened. Uh, another a celebrity of my, like, now I can talk about the story because I've always been holding this. But another celebrity friend of mine, like, called me one day, and he's like, hey, I'd like you to meet one of my friends. And I was like, okay, cool. And I was like, it's probably his little sister. Like, he probably wants me to say hi to his little sister or his niece or something. Yeah. And then he gives the phone to his friend and he goes, hey, David, it's Leonardo DiCaprio. And I go, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, hi. And and as and then he like and then he, he starts talking to me about something. And like I put myself on mute and I run into the office. And Jay, I think you were there. Yeah. Yeah. And I run into the office and there's yeah. like three or four of you there. This was months ago. This is like a year ago, maybe. Yeah. And I run into the office and as as he's talking, I go, Leo DiCaprio is on the fucking phone with yeah. me. And Jason goes, shut up. <laughs> And, and then we're just listening to Leo talk for like two seconds and then I bring it back because I didn't want to like be weird and sitting around this campfire of Leo's voice. <laughs> um, yeah. And then um, and then I and then I saw him at a party yeah. um, like uh, a couple months later and I, and I was like, fuck it, I'm going to walk up to him. And I walked up to him. I said, hello. He fucking said hello to me. I was like, what the fuck? This is crazy. This dude knows who I am. Like I get to walk up to fucking DiCaprio. <laughs> and then fast forward a couple months. Um, we want to do something around voting. Um, and I thought this was like a perfect thing to do, like some sort of like giveaway aspect where you could meet Leo. Cause I think that'd be the coolest fucking thing. Um, and we got it done and Natalie and I went over there the other day. We went to go take the picture and we were so fucking nervous. Uh, the whole were, ride there. Yeah, David like and I a, were like, oh my God. Like, like just like, when like I a, get nervous, it, I start being like, ooh. Like I start yeah. singing weird shit. It was shit. like a 40 minute car car <laughs> so ride. Funny. And like, and, at, 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 yeah, at some point, at one point Natalie was like, I just don't get the whole space thing like i'm really oh, yeah, thinking, yeah, and, I, and I literally went nelly shut the fuck up shut the fuck up we're going to see the biggest fucking celebrity in the entire world and i just shut the fuck up i was so stressed out i was so scared and natalie was like right right i'm sorry like we were all on the same page about how scary it was and we were just like we were like and the best part is when you're when you're i've done this with like 30 different celebrities that i've gone to visit like every time i'm going to drive up to one i'm like imagine like imagine he goes hey we're going to peru right now you want to get on our yacht yeah. and like i run through all these stories on like how this can possibly go and I, I was telling Natalie I'm like I can't leave the country because I'm DACA but I was like Natalie if he like fucking asks us to go to like fucking uh, you know Belize right now or like <laughs> fucking we, we should go right we'll get on the plane we'll deal with the immigration stuff later <laughs> and, and Natalie was like I mean yeah I guess yeah if Leo asked like we should leave the country and like we were going through all these fucking scenarios in our head we were like yeah 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 and it was just like we were so fucking nervous and then we got there and it was like Dude, it's just like it's it's crazy. Like when that like the second you get to hang out with a celebrity and that like that wall breaks or like that tension breaks, like he opened the door for us and his dog got out. <laughs> and so he had to go chase his dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, like and that's where you go, oh my god, yeah, this is fucking he's real. It's the guy from the Titanic. Yeah. And this is the Wolf of Wall Street, but he's fucking he's here at his house just fucking chilling like and he's the fucking nicest guy he's so nice yeah he's when we when we first pulled up we heard like kids run like screaming from like the house like yelling or playing whatever and we we're like uh are we at the right house because we like just didn't anticipate that yeah. and like he had like family over and like a bunch of little kids yeah, was, the dogs were out like it was a whole like, yeah it was just like expected, but it, it was, was just so crazy and we were just like i can't believe we're just like the guy that's fucking in Titanic, Jen- Django Unchained, The Revenant, Wolf of Wall Street, like fucking <laughs> yeah. Inception. We're just fucking right here, just hanging out with him. It was so bizarre. And he was, I don't know, I, I, I'm i I'm not just bullshitting, but he was just so nice. And his girlfriend was so sweet. Was he joking around with you and stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was really, because we were trying to take this fucking picture and we were so bad at it because we couldn't find the right lighting. Because right. there were shadows everywhere because it was like the worst time. And we just we went all around the house trying to take this picture, and then we ended up at the same spot where we first took the picture. Um, no, it was really fun. He's it was the best. So I'm glad I got to do that. Um, and a lot of people, it's it's actually the campaign's doing really well. So it's exciting. Obviously, it's fucking Leo. Are you 
doing Inception 2 with him or? Yeah, I'm actually, yeah, I'm doing, I'm going to do The Revenant 2. I'm okay, the bear. You're doing, is that why you have a beard? <laughs> yeah, I'm growing out my beard. I can to, see it's really big now. To play the beard. Got and, big quick. Yeah, it's going to be nice. <laughs> That's crazy. So you're going to have to like go and live in the woods for a while. For eight months, eight months, yeah. They want me to get there four months ahead of time. Just so four can, months before the crew. Four months before the yeah. crew. Just to kind of figure it out on my you own. You think you could do something like that? Uh, the movie like The Revenant? Yeah. Fuck no. You don't think so? Fuck no. If someone said to you, David, we're going to give you this Oscar winning script. All we need you to do is like gain, you know, 100 pounds and live in the woods. Oh, the, well, yeah. I mean, Did you do I, that? Did you go method on it? Yeah. If it's like an Oscar award, like if I know it's going to win an Oscar. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And if they're confident that my involvement in it would also like do it justice, then yeah. 100%. Like I'll live wherever. Like for like to make anything entertaining, I would fucking do anything. Um, but like I just don't think I would do a movie justice, especially of where I'm in the wilderness for <laughs> <laughs> eight months. Oh, yeah. You don't like sure. nature. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it is what it is. Did Leo ask about your friend Todd? Yeah, he said, dude, I love the vlogs, especially that guy, Todd. Really? Yeah. He, well, well, he didn't ask specifically about Todd, but he was like, who wrote Natalina? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Todd. He was like, he was like, wait, like, right, you're <laughs> what else, Who else did he ask about from Vlog Squad? You, 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 you. He was like, you did he say he was the cute Jewish boy that's in one out of every 900 videos? <laughs> that's the only thing he didn't mention. Did he ask to be in Clutter Banks? <laughs> Come on, I know he asked about it. He's, he's taking a, a pause right now from production, but I know he'll be back to do yours. You just got to let him know we're like running gun, we're guerrilla warfare. We don't need a, I think we don't need like a crew. That. Months ago, Natalie said, oh, I love this TikTok chef. Yeah. My favorite TikToker in the whole world. Months ago. And yeah. so I was like, you know, I'm always looking for a video. So I was like, okay. So we worked it out that she would come. This is like August. She's like, she's coming in October. That day, she flies in to cook for Natalie. Oh, my God. <laughs> we go to Italy. We're, we're like shopping. I'm having a really good time because I love Italian food. And I called you. I you, called you that day. Yes, you did. And I call, And I, this is the day of the shoot. And the day of Jason's shoot and the day of Natalie's shoot where the false positive was for COVID. And I called Jason. I'm like, Jason, <laughs> Jason, can you come by and help me with this live stream I'm doing? And Jason never responds like this ever. He goes, no, David, I can't right now. I'm so busy. I'm doing the thing with Natalie. And then I go, <laughs> no, you're not. I didn't respond like that. No, but you definitely responded tense. Well, I was tense because I was worried I wouldn't get Natalie for the video. Yeah, yeah no, you I were, didn't. You were tense. And then, I, and, then I, and then I broke the news to you. And, yeah. I, and, and then you were like, that's just perfect. That's what you said. <laughs> I thought you were pranking me. No, no, no. I was like, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, so this woman flew out. Yeah, and wow. she's great. Cooking with Shirin. Wow. Shireen. Shireen. Cooking with Shireen. <laughs> Cooking with Shireen. Like, I love her. She's a... She's amazing. Your food's so good. I got Damn. to go instead of you. It was very good. I know everyone else. Then Jason like accidentally sent a group like a text to everybody of the food, being like, "Hey guys, food's ready if anyone wants it." And he he sent it to me, but I was sitting in the hotel room. And I was like, "Really, Jason? Like, you know, I want to be there more than anything." And he accidentally like sent this pasta picture to me. I did. It wasn't an accident. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Dumb bitch, why'd you get COVID on this day?" <laughs> no, and then I sent another text which said, "I want to bring you food. Where are you?" I know, but then I was like, "Just doing my own thing." 